Good day folks and welcome to the Meraki way. My name is Joanne and if you're watching this video you are either starting in the Cisco Meraki world or you want to know how to configure and troubleshoot and maintain Cisco Meraki networks. So this is your place. We're going to cover different aspects during the video, the main aspects of the differentiators of Cisco Meraki in the market and then we're going to go all the way to create our first organizations to start adding our new devices and configure them. Don't worry. If you don't have any Cisco Meraki devices, I'm going to show you a better way and a perfect approach how to get it from the Cisco Meraki Excel, free of charge. So buckle up, stay tuned, and let's go and check it out. This video is a part of the training series videos that I've created in the channel for you to grow your knowledge and have more power in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. It's gonna go through all the configuration aspects, all the way to troubleshooting tips, and understand how to maintain through API or automations all your networks and locations. And if you're more interested into it, go down below, you will see the description of the training list or hit the subscription button and the notification bell as well so you to be on top of all the releases of the new coming videos. All right, so let's talk about Cisco Meraki. As you can see in the name, Meraki is part of the Cisco, but a very truly special part. It's the driving force right now of the cloud managed devices. Cisco Meraki has proven that it is possible to manage a complete network with cloud managed devices and platforms. They offer an entire stack of the devices from the security appliance as the internet breakout all the way to access points and cameras. In order to administer the devices, you will need access to the dashboard, a centralized management service that allows users to manage all of their Meraki network devices via a simple, single, and secure platform. For the devices to communicate to the cloud, they should have a valid IP address and be able to reach the internet all the time. A secure and encrypted tunnel will be created between the Meraki devices and the cloud in order to administer them and continuously monitor them. With this infrastructure, the only thing you need to go to configure the devices is the dashboard. No more console cables, no more SSH commands, just a simple and elegant user interface. In case you don't have a Cisco Meraki here yet or you'd like to increase your stack of devices, Cisco Meraki offers a webinars where you can get a free device and licenses. In the webpage, you can find different webinars on your interest. The one that I recommend you to start learning more about the products would be the Introduction to Cloud Managed IT and Introduction to Cloud Managed Security and SD1. If you attend one of those webinars, you will receive a free device and a license included. They offer the same webinar in different languages as well, in case English is not your first one. These trainings are very helpful since it is not just sales focused completely and adds a lot of value from the technical side. Great, so now you know how Meraki works and now you know how to get your free devices. Let's start creating our organizations to add all our devices to the configuration. The only thing that you're gonna need is your email address and the order number when you purchase the devices or the serial number of the devices with the license included. So now we're gonna go to the dashboard and let's start creating an organization. The first step is going to dashboard.meraki.com and select Create Account. This step is very important here. Selecting your region will determine which regulations will be set in place of your organization data. This involves confidentiality and user data protection as well. After that, you just have to fill out the fields according to your details and that's it. You can go and create your account. When you finish confirming your email address, you can go back to dashboard.baraki.com and log in, or just use the link provided in the confirmation email. And for the first time, you will see your organization. This place will be your playground from now on, and we will do wonderful things inside. To start, we have to add the devices to the organization. To do so, you navigate to Organization Inventory and click Claim. Here you have different options depending on how you can get the devices. You can use the order number in your receipt, or PO, or you can use the serial number of the devices and the license key. After having all in here, you can click the claim button. Now we are one step further to configure our Cisco Meraki devices and start this journey in your dashboard. 
After having our first steps completed creating the organization and the serial numbers and the devices on place, I recommend you to check the video to configure your first devices and the basic and plain configuration for you to start with. After that, I recommend you to check what are the big mistakes that you can take when you're starting with Cisco Meraki that can cost you either time or money. Subscribe to the channel for more configuration steps, troubleshooting tips, and automation of your networks. I truly believe that you can become a Meraki master. See you in the next one.